Hey guys, thanks for watching. I just wanted to show you within the Flash Forge um, Flash Print 5 software for printing on the Flash Forge, Forge 3 printer, um, what you want to do to add a raft on your print. And in the previous video before this, I did show what a raft was in person. So I just kind of wanted to go through how to create that within the software. Um, and again, if you don't know what it is, a raft is something on the bottom that keeps um, your design that you have here from falling over. So you see here in the purple, that is the raft that we have built. Without the raft, it would just be held up by the legs. And while that could be sometimes okay, it's not always going to work and it could possibly fall over. So <clears throat> in order to um, make sure that doesn't happen, we're gonna hit start slicing and we're gonna go down to raft. And you wanna make sure enable raft is on yes. Um, if it's on no, it will not create a raft and chances are your design will tip over and you will create a complete mess. So make sure this is on yes. And the margin, depending on how thin the legs or whatever it's standing on is, you wanna have <clears throat> it um you know a decent amount if it's a really flat item like I'm making a dragon or a snake or something I'll have it on 2.0 um, otherwise I usually have it between 3.0 and 5.0 and I can kind of show you what the difference is here um, and what it looks like <clears throat> so we'll put it on 2.0 just to show you what it looks like here click slice and it is working down here and it'll show once it's ready in purple the outline so remember the larger the base the more stable it's going to be and the chances of the item falling over is not as likely so we're gonna preview it and you can see the raft it's kind of smaller you can see that it's um, right in here there's a little gap um, where the raft is not, so it's just right under his leg and his uh, um, cape. So we are going to just try this again, and we'll put a higher number, we'll put seven on it. I've never used seven before. I think the most I've used ever is six, and that was when I was making a very, very thin project. So I've never had to use seven, but I'll just show you, you know, the difference and what it looks like. And we're going to preview it and you can see that it created a larger raft and that gap that was right here is filled and no worries about it falling over so that is how you create the raft before you go and hit um, your print button right here hope this helped you enjoy and happy printing